Today we will be creating app art and practicing shading. You can use any paper and pencils you have available to you, either just a regular pencil or some colored pencils. We will begin by creating a spot right in the middle of our paper. Next we will be creating sections either with curved or straight lines. And then we'll be begin adding some 3D effects. I'm going to create curved lines moving out from my point first in every other section. I'm going to check this to make sure I have enough sections to do this. Here I did not, so I split one of my sections in half again and then added these into every other section. The alternating sections, our curved lines are going to face the opposite direction so that they look like they are curved up instead of down. Next we are going to create some shading and we can do this with a regular pencil using different areas of pressure and our finger or a tissue to blend. Another option would be a collection of colored pencils. You can see here I'm collecting more than one shade of the same color or I can utilize different amounts of pressure with black and white to do the same effect. I'm also going to test out my blues on a separate sheet because sometimes the colors do not match the casing very well so I want to make sure I have my order correct. If you're very familiar with your tools you might already know this or if you're just using one color in black and white you will not need to do this either.
with this technique, your colors, your pressure, and as well as blending in a little bit of white will blend your colors and lighten them. If you are utilizing black, you will want to do this with a very light pressure along with your darkest color. Black all by itself might be a little too impactful for your design. Another option you could utilize for a more vibrant black and white design is just your black and white color pencils if you have them. This would be with the same pressure ideas as some colors with darker pressure with your black towards the edges, lighter pressure to create some grays, and then use, utilizing that white in the middle to blend out to a very light white or gray and also blend some of those colors together. Using color pencils and our regular pencil requires some layers so you can see I'm going back and forth with my colors until I get the effect that I would like. You can choose the coloring option that makes most sense to you based on your tools, or you can experiment with multiple ideas in the same piece of artwork just like this. Happy creating!